Yeah, and that's how I took a challenge to get better at coloring. I was searching for watercolors or maybe some markers, but this was the only thing I found. I don't know, but I just wanted to draw something really cool and say, "Look, I can use colors too." I know I'm being kind of childish here, but my skills were underestimated, and I won't take it as a yes. Take it as a no. No, I didn't expect this sketch to be this. Nah, who even uses these kind of crayons? I'm gonna make something really cool and different this time, uh, and it's gonna be way better than those mountains. But just after some browsing, I came across something known as digital painting. Okay, so moving on, I might need a pen tablet and a software for starting digital painting. So without wasting any more time, let's jump right into it. Setting up the tablet was easy, but it is the next part that's going to be really hard, which is to draw and look both at different places at same time. Eye and coordination. Yeah, I had to learn that. At first, I just made some shapes and lines to understand it better. I'll just need a few more hours to practice, and I'll master it in no time. I would have done that easily. It's just that I got. Mamma. And after having some snacks, I sleeping for some time really got me energized to practice a lot more. And so, to get better at it, I took a step down and took some really small steps. And after struggling for a few more hours, I was finally able to get hang of it. And next, what I did was the biggest mistake of all time. I was just really happy with how the sketches turned out to be, and I just directly took a jump into coloring without giving it a second thought. And I tried again. After making these portraits, I missed my sketchbook a lot, and I became totally clueless on what to do next. And bam, I came across an online platform. Known as Coloso, and this guy, this guy just made my life easier. And he's one of the sensei who provides some amazing art courses on this platform. Let's just jump right into the curriculum of his class, which made me go from zero to hundred. This course starts by going in depth on fundamental topics such as perspective and shapes. It also has tutorials on some advanced topics such as light and color and anatomy of a human body. So get this course if you really want to upskill yourself. A link will be in the description. Well, this shit happened because I directly jumped onto the colors without even understanding the fundamentals of it. And after watching Mogun's class, I had a clear roadmap on how to get better at painting. To differentiate between light and shadow, we use values. Value defines how light or dark a given color can be. Don't worry, it just means to paint in black and white. Well, next step was to do a lot of value studies. The most important part is to select a good reference which shows the proper differentiation between light and shadow. I took it better at studying values by identifying light, midtones, and darks. First, block large values using some big brushes, and then move on to the smaller details. Okay, so the next important step is to master hard and soft edges. Well, a hard edge can be created using any hard brush like a round brush, and you can use smudge tool or maybe an airbrush to create some soft edges. If you want, you can try squinting your eyes. It will help you focus less on details and more on values. Well, to be honest, it didn't took much time for me to get better at values. I'm gonna make colors one of my strengths. And the next step was to finally do colors. I mean, I mean, start using color. But <laughs> and I slept, slept a lot. Well, to be honest, I could have at least made one or two paintings. I wasn't even that sick. And maybe I was just putting it off because I was getting bored of it. And the next day, rather than doing digital painting. I just made a lot of sketches on my sketchbook, and I don't know how, but it really got me out of the creative block. And so I got my pen, my stylus, and it was finally time to jump into colors. But I don't want to make a painting which looks like that, so I did some research on it, and I found some topics. Actually, a lot of topics. I felt that just when I finally reached the last stage, it caught up and threw me straight onto the first stage. I was really getting frustrated, but it was not over yet. And for the next two days, I practiced all those topics, and it was finally time to put my practice to test. 
and so I began by drawing a rough sketch of the portrait. I chose this reference because it had complementary colors which are red and blue. After putting the local colors, I started off with shadows. And not gonna lie, I was really seeing some great improvements. As you can see, I also added blue color in the shadows, that's because of the ambient light coming from the sky. And after adding some more warm colors, the painting was finished. This painting turned out to be really good, but it literally took me 7 hours to finish this. You have to see what I have done on the other camp.